Hi friends, in this video we are going to see in detail about surface automation in Blue Prism RPA. And for this one, Blue Prism have defined one application exclusively for surface automation training purpose. So let me open this one. The default username is an admin and password is also an admin. And you can log into like you know, three accounts, like three systems. Like one is account, client and patient. If you click on login, it will go to like, you know, it'll switch to another page. So once you click on uh, logout, we'll switch back to the main screen. And again, you can log into the application by using username is an admin, password is also an admin, and choose another system called client. Then goes to so another page, and click on file, and then log out. We'll switch back to the main screen, and use your username. Okay, log in by using your username and password like admin and admin. Select patient and click on login. Then you can see the further information regarding the like patient information. Click on file and log out, and then you can close it. The surface automation allows. How to interact with application elements where no element details is exposed by one of the blue prism connectors or interfaces it is especially used for remote applications for automating So, remote applications access via Citrix So, this course So, we'll touch the more advanced topics So, font creation, character conflicts, and performance. It's a font in application. So to identify so font so automatic feature of so region editor so is not
guaranteed so always find the correct one so we need to identify the font so which involves some experimentation which involves some work the application which we are going to use the application you is use the font is Arial 9.5 So if recognize text in read stage is not working means so most likely cause will be either the font is not set correctly the font is not set properly so otherwise the region is not accurate so enough So, in such case, so we need to play around with the size of the region. to try and get the read stage to work so if the dynamic region is correct So we can use temporary so read stage to read the image of our, of the region So into an image data item. So once read, we can check the image to see if the region was set correct. And one more important thing to remember 
the application window so must be active for global clicks to work the elements so we want to send global send keys text to must have so focus by first tabbing into or click in them and one more important thing to remember while we are working in surface automation in object studio so blue prism may regain focus So, rather than the trying application, so for that purpose, so we need to make sure it's better to run the business objects to breakpoints. So, rather than stepping through, with the debugger. Okay, please stay with us. We will continue surface automation in detail.